in this video we will talk about how to prepare for quantitative aptitude of IPM aptitude test. Uh, this section, this particular section was the most talked about section in last year's entire spectrum of uh, aptitude test for management entrance exams because this is uh, supposed to be uh, really tough and it has a really high weightage. So, if, if you look at quantitative aptitude in the entire exam, it is 60 percent of the entire exam and cutoff is more than 50 percent. So, this is something which you cannot avoid. Now, this particular section can be broadly divided into eight different uh, units. Uh, first unit being basic uh, arithmetic. A basic arithmetic will have chapters like uh, percentages, profit and loss, simple interest, compound interest, ratio, average, allegation, time and work. Though time and work and time and distance can be considered in advanced arithmetic. So, these are the only two chapters. Uh, which will have a lot of word problems and uh, you know, mixed applications. Third one is basic algebra, uh, fourth one is higher algebra. So, in basic algebra you can have questions on basic uh, equations, uh, linear, simultaneous, uh, quadratic, uh, factorization of polynomials uh, and in higher algebra you can expect questions on set theory, log including the natural log, uh, set theory, functions, inequalities, uh, progression uh, and uh, then geometry, mensuration, trigo and coordinate. Now, this entire section uh, uh, can have around 8 to 10 questions, uh, probably you know, more questions because last year itself there were around 4 to 5 questions on just coordinate geometry. Uh, that is uh, fifth section. Uh, sixth one will be uh, you know, higher maths. So, questions uh, from chapters like limit, matrices, determinants, uh, differentiation, integration, some application of uh, you know, uh, higher maths. Uh, there were uh, instances reported that questions one on Boolean algebra were also asked, but uh, again uh, there are no fixed syllabus. So, we have to go by the standard questions and the standard feedback that we receive from most of, most of the students. Uh, seventh one uh, is uh, data interpretation. Uh, though it has not been asked consistently every year, the last year it was quite prominent. There were only four to five questions, but it was quite prominent. Why? Because uh, there were the, the options. Uh, or the, the type of questions in data interpretation were based on non-MCQ. That means, it did not carry any options. A student had to key in the answer. And the last one is mixed application based questions, where you will have uh, multiple chapters being, uh, uh, you know, the concepts of multiple chapter being used in the word problem format. A typical length of the question will be 5 to 6 lines, you have to identify. There are mixed applications, so you will have a quadratic equation and probably an inequality. You will have a statistics and you will have a probability. You will have a geometry and time, speed, and distance, uh, you know, combined uh, in in one particular uh, question. And because of the nature, because of the length, and because of the multiple uh, you know, concepts involved, the uh, duration to solve this per type of questions is slightly higher. If we divide the breakup, breakup is. Uh, 8 to 10 questions on uh, each of the parameters except for basic arithmetic where you can come across only 5 to 6 questions. Uh, apart from that, rest of the areas will have around 8 to 10 questions in all. So, in all 60 question. Ideal time that we recommend to students is somewhere around 75 to 80 minutes to attempt this uh, particular portion. So, out of 120 minutes, you are giving almost two third of the time for 60 percent question. There have been instances where student has spent more than 85 minutes also, so close to 90 minutes also. So, in case you are uh, able to score, in case you, you are going along with the flow, it, it is if, if you are not getting stuck, then it does not uh, hurt you much in, if, if you stretch yourself till 85 to 90 minutes also sometimes, but it is not advised. Ideal time is somewhere between 75 to 80 minutes. Now, uh, let us see how we can prepare for something like this. the syllabus is quite wide and very exhaustive. Now, preparation strategy can depend on when exactly you are starting, but if we divide the entire preparation strategy into four phases, you can identify the number of days that you want to allocate to these four phases. So, first phase will be to work on your foundation. Now, the kind of chapters that we discuss right now will have a wide range of concepts to be covered. Now, if you take a simple example of numbers, now numbers itself will have uh, the concept of uh, know, basic number system and the uh, HCF and LCM and remain, uh, know, till remainder theorem. So, you have uh, you know, uh, somewhere around 7 to 8 different concepts being covered in one single chapter and different, different level of difficulties at each concept but you cannot miss out on any of the concept. So, because you never know what type of question will be asked in the on the day of exam. 
So, this is one such chapter. Now, if we look at the entire range, there are 25 such chapters. So, every chapter will have different, different concepts. So, ideally, uh, one would advise that you should be practicing somewhere around 50 to 100 questions per chapter. So, even if we try to average it out to say maybe 80 questions per chapter and there are 25 such chapters, uh, we will be solving around 2000 questions. This is to help you strengthen your foundation and this is the most important element because it is not just IPM. Once you have done with this 2000 question, you can be sure that you know you will be in position to crack any other exam that you are looking at this in, in this academic season. So, that this will help you strengthen your foundation that that is stage one and this is the stage which will take maximum amount of your time and energy. Now, second stage onwards it is more on the application side and hence it will not consume a good amount of time and energy. So, second stage once we move that second stage can be considered as an application stage where we uh, start practicing questions on mixed application. So, once you have understood geometry, once you have understood time speed and distance, you can tackle the question on uh, which has mixed application of both these chapters. Now, this is primarily driven by practicing questions directly and it does not have much theory to add and hence it will not consume good amount of time. So, you, all you have to do is pick up those chapters which has application and start practicing questions on mixed application based. Third stage uh, is testing. So, now before you directly go to the exam, you need to test yourself and understand whether you are able to score sufficient mark, whether you are able to perform or uh, you, know, you are not sure, you are, you are not able to get the answer correct on the day of exam, though may, you may be uh, good with concepts, but you are not able to derive the answer. So, testing is important, this is where you are supposed to write sectional test. Second element here is that you are supposed to, th there is a time bound test. So, on the day of exam, you are advised to spend 75 to 80 minutes only for 60 questions. So, you have and in case you are attempting say somewhere around 40 questions you will be getting approximately 2 minutes per question. So, this is where you are supposed to test yourself. Are you in position to answer a question in 2 minutes? So, set an uh, timer or probably practice online sectional test which has a timer of somewhere around 75 to 80 minutes and you are practicing 60, 60 questions each. So, if you know your strengths and weaknesses, it becomes very easy for you to take decisions on the day of exam. Okay as there are no sectional cutoffs, there are no sectional time limits. So, you have complete freedom to select question or select a section. Now, there are a lot of students who will end up wasting this freedom, but there will be students who will try to capitalize on this. So, for example, if you are not really good with quant, you just need 35, 40 questions to you know, score decent marks in quant and the remaining can be balanced out from verbal section and vice versa can also be done. So, this strategy can be adopted only when you know your strengths and weaknesses. So, that is the final stage of uh, you know your preparation, understanding or uh, developing the correct strategy for the day of exam. If you follow these four stages of preparation, uh, the time duration spent on each stage uh, may vary as I told, uh, told you earlier, that depends on when exactly you are starting your preparation. But if you are following this uh, different stages of preparation, I am sure by the day of exam, you will have the right strategy in place and you will be able to make wise decision on the day of uh, exam. Wishing you all the best for IPMAT. Happy content.